Hey guys, this is Tyler with Tyler's Dragon Tarot. Gonna be doing the cuff signs in this video. I put the, uh, the whatever in the description, you know. Place where you can go see what time it is. Timestamps. Damn it. Okay, thank you. Um, no one said anything, but, you know, thank you. Whatever. So, anyway. I appreciate everyone commenting, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. Um, I actually will... Um, base com. Uh, oh, oh my god, I can't talk tonight. I, and you know, I'm part Gemini. Like, what's up? But, um, I will base ratings based on comments every now and then, like what you guys want to gear towards. Like, I did that a little bit ago. I haven't got too many comments since then, but whatever. Um, so I'm just trying to throw that out there. Like, if there's. I just draw general shit, but tell me your sign and what you want to see, and I'll make it a general reading, so it won't be personal, but you might get what you, more of what you're looking for. I think a lot of people come for love readings, so. though, but um, anyway, so let's just get into the Pisces Aries cusp. Where are my homies at? I'm also a Pisces Aries cusp. Barely, but I am. I'm on the Aries side of that Pisces Aries cusp. But. Woohoo, you want to pop out? What's up? Okay. You got the Empress, but this side of the Empress here. So. You need to learn how to turn your back. No, that's not right. You need to learn how to take care of yourself. You're too busy trying to take care of others. You need to turn that inward. And I'm hearing love from afar. People got to make their own mistakes. People got to make, yeah, people got to make their own mistakes. And you can't catch them every time they fall. And you got to stop trying to catch them every, sorry. Okay, go away. Little alert. Um, you can't catch them every time they fall. You, you just can't. You can't be there every time they fall, and you can't feel bad for not doing it. You know? So, you can be this wonderful, nurturing person, but you gotta realize sometimes people just gotta do shit on their own, you know? You can't... Especially if you're not taking care of yourself, you... I heard nothing. You can't... I don't say anything. Okay. Um, you can't take care of your... Uh, okay, hold on. I got lost because I got distracted. Sorry, guys. Um, what was I saying? Um, if you don't take care of yourself, you can't really take care of other people. You can't put in that full effort that you actually can um, put into. Uh, and, yeah, let them make their own mistakes. Let them learn... Because they're not going to learn from talking to you. They're going to learn from getting their ass kicked. And not that doesn't have to be literal. Just, you know, in a sense of, oh, life's really kicking my ass lately. Well, why are you learning from it? Get a lot of shit off that one card. Okay. So, let's see. I heard give up the fight when I looked at that. Like. Why are you fighting? Like you guys still got your sticks. You're still going. But there's no point. See this this wand in the middle. Is, between you two is just broken. Broken trust? Is there broken trust? I think there's broken trust. So. What you need to ask yourself is. What's the point in fighting over something broken? Or even, why are you fighting when you should be fixing? Because, huh. why are you fighting when you should be fixing? And that pops out, the Ace of Swords. Ta-da, great idea. Why are you fighting when you should be fixing? So, maybe it's not so much... And, you know, you do have a card here that I described more as going inward. You got to just let them make their own mistakes. You got to stop fighting with them. And 
love from afar. Just because you feel like you're always right doesn't mean you are. All right. Aaron, you could be right for you, but it doesn't mean your right is right for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's see. Anything else? It's time to. It's time for a new path. That's why I heard looking at this. It is time to find your balance between. <laughs> oh my God! I'm doing a Aries Pisces uh, cuss. So it's time to find your balance between your water and your fire. Um. All right. So you got all this passion. You got and. On the Aries side, you got the emotions on the Pisces side. Well, Aries has emotions. People don't think that for some reason. But Aries are very sensitive. Um, they really are. They just show emotions differently. But, um, so, but I'm just saying it's time for a new path. Where is this going? Where is this new path going? Not really... New stability. Actual stability. Oh. Okay, actual stability. Things you thought were stable weren't. You know, they, uh... It's like you had walls up, but you could just push them over. Is how... Is your level of stability you're used to. So... Okay, I think your your reading's done because this create your own path. Create your own path. You're going on this new path. What do you want? What do you want? Okay, that's what you need to be thinking about right now. What do you want? I kind of get the sense of you know with Aries and Pisces both together, they're both people that. You know, Pisces likes to take care of everyone, but Aries, you might have to prove yourself to them first, but if you prove yourself to an Aries, oh, shit, okay? They are ride or die, all right? So, I'm just kind of feeling like it's time, it's time to think about what you want. You've been given too much. You've been giving too much of yourself away. You need to get it back and be like, what do I want? What do I want to create for myself? Okay? All right. So thank you guys for watching. We're moving on to Aries and Taurus. Cuss. Give me a few seconds to shuffle. All right. The Aries and Taurus. Cuss. Shoot. Okay. Take the card then. Okay, you're working through the pain with this card. Because I was like, you're ignoring someone, but no, you're ignoring your pain. Because you lost something here. You lost something precious. And so, and you feel like your work isn't even building up. Like, what are you even doing? You're just doing things. You're just keeping busy. That's what it is. You're keeping busy to ignore the pain. What? What's so damn painful here? Oh. Someone swam away. Your dolphin swam away. Someone who you thought was a lot of fun and who you actually had a connection with. Um, they were like, bye. So, I left you stranded in the middle of the ocean. Which you're not even used to. You're not... Yeah, in the middle of the ocean. So, in the middle of your emotions. It's like, they... You're... I'm getting the sense that you're a person who... Well, you're people, I guess, since I'm doing a general reading. Who doesn't like to open up. You don't like to open up. And they got you to express themselves. Yourself. And the way that they like to open up. Maybe it's not that you don't like to open up. You just don't like to verbally express it. 
and they got you to do that and then they swam away and now you're just like all this stuff now I just don't know what to do and you're just trying to stay grounded the best you can but sooner or later you're gonna have to swim you're gonna have to swim for sure this seat this seat isn't going anywhere you're gonna have to swim to shore if you want to go anywhere you're gonna have to heal yourself you're gonna have to get into those emotions you don't have to drown but you are gonna have to get into them I feel like this is you now like you're just now you're just like okay I'm done we're gonna build an empire now like I'm focusing on my success on my goals and goodbye yeah you laid everything else to rest you know what you're gonna do and you're moving forward move forward that's, I feel like that's advice Okay, so I feel like this is a time you need to emotionally heal and you need to refocus your goals here. You need to figure out what it is that you want to do. Quit saying, don't just keep busy. Figure out your goals and put that energy into that. Go hard and get that shit accomplished. Um, Because you've blindly went into love before just like, I think I love you. Here's my cup. Do you take it? And you're just... You never had that equal give and take. You never had that balance. You never really knew what you were getting into when you got into it. But You deserve better. Walk away. Build your empire. Get it together. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Now we're going to move on to the Taurus Gemini Cups. So... Give me a few seconds. Let me check on that. Taurus Gemini Cups. Alright. Appreciate you guys being here. Uh, see what I get for you guys. Okay. Oh, <laughs> just hearing you lost your fish and now you don't know what to do. You're seek, oh, excuse me, you're seeking help. Think about that fish. Is that fish wasn't loyal? You know, you thought you caught your fish. You know, they say there's so many fish in the sea, but you were like, that's mine though. But that fish wasn't loyal. See. You're looking forward trying to, you're trying to adapt to them, be like, okay, you're a fish, so we need to go in the ocean together, right? We'll swim together. And they're just like looking off to the side like, hmm, wonder what opportunities are over here. They're, they were keeping their options open. They were keeping their options open. That's fucked up. Okay. And now you're just, you're seeking help, you're sad, you're, you don't know what to do. So. All right, so let's draw some cards. I don't know why this is really feeling like a breakup theme, um, but I think a few are going through breakups right now. Is that a theme, guys? Are y'all going through breakups? Anyway. Don't be tempted. Don't be tempted by the rebound. <laughs> I, that is coming in hard on that card. Do not be tempted by the rebound, okay? There is something gross about that rebound. Like, you're going to be like, okay, I can hit it and quit and feel better. But they're going to get stuck to you and you're going to feel like shit. Okay? And not <laughs> get stuck to you and not in a good way. Yeah. You need to focus on your individual growth right now. Listen to messages. Listen to me. I'm giving messages. You need to focus on your own growth and... Planting the seeds to what you need to invest in. Um, what are your goals? 
what are your goals? What do you want to accomplish? But you did go from fives to nines pretty fast, so. And now you got the ace. I was about to say, I think things are moving pretty fast. And now you got the ace of points here. So. You fit. Okay, so quit. This is going to sound a little harsh. But quit feeling sorry for yourself. Heal yourself. Um, <laughs> because the sooner you do that, the sooner you can get to this point. The sooner you can focus on your goals and put your energy into what you want, the sooner you get this. The sooner you get that tangible reward that you know. Man, a lot of people are like, well, I've done the Aries, Taurus, and the Taurus Gemini, so this might just be your Earth sign coming through. But both of them have just been like, focus on your goals, focus on your money. Um, forget the breakup, you know. Yeah, don't rebound. Just don't be a hound. You know, just focus on you. And focus on your success. Because I know you want to be success uh, successful. So let's get it. All right, let's get it. All right, so we're going to go to Gemini Cancer. Let's give me a minute to shuffle. All right, guys. What are we doing? Gemini Cancer. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, my twin crabs. Sounds like a sexy <laughs> disease. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. I'm done. So, let's see. Gemini Cancer. Yeah, they kind of go together. Okay, yeah. So, your whole reading just popped out. So, you got the Three of Swords here. You got Temperance. You got the Ten of Swords. You got the Eight of Cups. And you got the Chariot. Let it go. It's time to let it go. You may have sweet memories of whatever this is. It's heartbreak. Someone, I'm getting betrayal off of this. Um, it might be a breakup, but it might just be... Whatever it is, I'm getting betrayal heavy. Someone betrayed your trust. But it's time to let it go. All right? Fill your own cup up. Get your balance back. You know, do what you need to do to heal. And, you know, you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do to heal. So you do what you need to do to heal. Whatever is going to help you heal the best, you do it. And then we got this Ten of Swords here. See, on this side, the guy's still focusing on it. This side, it's just the suit of armor left. So, walk away. Let it go. It's time to stop thinking about it. See, and with these two, the positions they're looking in here, you're walking away. Okay? And look, these cups are broken. You're walking away towards the new happiness here. Sunshine happiness. All right? You're walking towards the new, the new beginning, the fresh start, the new happiness here. And it does take strength to do that, but you got it. And we got this chariot here. Let it fall away. Let that... Don't... Don't hold on to the past. Don't hold on to it. Just walk away and let it fall behind you. All right? Because that's how you're going to create your brighter future. Walk away. Let it fall behind you. All right? Do we... I feel like this is pretty... That's pretty much a reading, but I'll see if another... Yep. Stop trying to impress people. Damn, that came out hard on that one. Stop trying to impress people. Be yourself. Okay, be you. Be who you are. 
That's why you're not happy. That's why these things aren't working out. That's why you feel betrayed because you have you and then you have people you. You know, there's a mask you put on. Well, maybe it's time to take off that mask. Maybe it is time to take off that mask. Hmm. I feel like that's not for you. Ugh. Gosh. Cat hair everywhere. Okay. Time to stop worrying about everything and fuck the rules. Have a little fun. That's what I'm getting on there. Be grounded and don't get yourself in trouble, but have a little fun. Okay? All right. So we are moving on to the Cancer uh, Leo portion of this. I'm going to pause for quick. All right. We're on the Cancer Leos. I feel like I want to do this other deck here. What's up with my Cancer Leos? That's right. We're going to appeal to the Leo side of y'all. You're getting another deck. I don't know if I'll use it again. I've been using my vice versa this whole time. So, y'all special, huh? You get your own deck? <laughs> uh, I can just hear the Leo side of you being like, we'll see. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I tend to make really good friends with Leos. Y'all are sassy, and I love it. Ah. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Cancer Leo. Be without malice. Okay, so I think this is like, okay, someone's wronging you, someone's wronged you. And yeah, it's like, let, let's go fuck them up, right? But I feel like it's saying, okay. As fucked up as it sounds, even though they wronged you, try to understand their perspective. Try to think about why they wronged you. And not and I'm not saying it's your fault, I'm just saying I'm appealing to your cancer side. How were they feeling? Were their feelings hurt, you know? Maybe they just didn't feel it anymore and you feel like it's a betrayal. I feel like most of these have been breakups, so this could just be a breakup, but share your thoughts. All right. So I feel like this is saying now we got this, so it's like you want to attack them, but instead communicate. Uh, talk about it, you know? Talk about it. Figure out what's going on, why they did it, and you know, it's funny. I was just saying that. Think about their perspective now and share your thoughts. So, you were born to create. I've read for Leos before that has just been like, you know, you pretty much got this power that you just like ask for it and it becomes y'all hella manifestors. Hella manifestors. All right. So, you want something, just be like, I want it and it's going to happen. I, I feel like that's a... What's up? Jeez, that's... All right. Ugh. Okay. Clean the floor. When you have this conversation, I know it's easy, especially for fire signs, and I, I am one, so I'm not calling you out um, to interrupt. It seems like it seems like fire signs are really bad at that. So, we're, okay, I'm just gonna stop. Um, but really listen to what they're saying. Pay attention. Pay attention to yourself too. What do you want? Are you are you actually paying attention to what you want? Here are the ancient ones. <laughs> okay, their eyes are blind on this, so stop looking for evidence and have this conversation. 
Okay, I feel like you're just like, hmm, you're overthinking, overanalyzing, you're pulling at strings, just trying to figure out why they did something. Talk about it, okay? Right. We're not getting anywhere else like it. It keeps going on the same stuff, so I think y'all are done. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we're going to go to Leo Burgo. So that would be 2530. All right. Ooh, Gaia. We're going to do Gaia. Mm. Alright, Leo Virgo, trying to get these cards together. I don't usually read them with this deck, but I'm kind of feeling it. Take it off. Okay, you got the death card, death rebirth of... God, my face is itchy. Alright, anyone who might be freaking out about that, death is not scary in this in the tarot sense. It just means something had to come to an end, or you're coming to a new beginning. I have never noticed the baby in the egg. That has to be significant. Girl, you pregnant? <laughs> you creating... Oh my gosh. Okay, all three of these are like creation-wise. So you might be getting a new start. You might be figuring stuff out, but... I think what this is saying is you finally got your financial situation together. You finally got something solid, and now you're going to go make a baby. And not not in a dirty way, in a beautiful way. Like, you're actually ready to make a baby. That's, that's a nice change, because most of these have been breakups. It's something you've been wanting... Something they've been wanting, too. Like, you're both on the same page here. And y'all gonna be making babies. All right. Well, have fun doing that. <laughs> now we got the Queen of Fire here. Mm. Lots of passion. Knows what she wants. And you want that baby. All right. I'm too focused on that baby, but I've never seen that baby on that death card, so... It's like, mm. and you know, that could just be a new beginning of some sort and all that, but I have never noticed that baby in that death card, so I'm like, what can a baby mean? I mean, a new birth, so getting your youth back, you know, feeling young again, you feel drained for too long, and now you feel, so it doesn't have to be a literal pregnancy, because I'm like... Some of y'all might be like, oh, gross, no. Um, but that baby stuck out so hard. I'm just like, what can a baby mean? I mean, pregnancy is even the birth of ideas. So this could just be like something you're birthing in a sense, like a new business idea, a new, you know, you know what I'm saying. Okay. For the people who don't actually want babies. But... That baby stuck out hard to me, and I have never seen it before in the center of that egg. Never seen that before. Never. And I've drawn that death card I don't know how many times out of this deck. So that has to be significant. So I don't know. Maybe look up meanings of babies. Because I'm like, what can I mean besides that? But All right. Virgo, Libra. Mm -hmm. Still a mermaid deck. Yes, I am. I'm feeling mermaid deck. Ooh, you already got a flyer for my Virgo Libras. Okay. Okay. Basic message. You got this, you got this, you got this. Set yourself free, you know what you want. You're trapping yourself. Why are you trapping yourself? Why are you sitting here, like, depressed, dark? And it's like something you're doing to yourself. You're stuck in a situation that you can easily get out of. And you're just... For some reason, why doesn't it feel right to you to get out of it?
Okay, so it's like that whole, um, like, sometimes relationships just have dull moments. Sometimes it's just this. Sometimes it's just that. Sometimes y'all fall out of love and then fall back in love. The And you're supposed to work at a relationship. You really are. But if it's not working, it's not working, okay? And if it's not working, don't make yourself miserable putting in work for something that isn't working, okay? Like, if you knew a... If you just knew... And I feel like this is you. If you just knew a business was going to fail from the beginning, would you invest in it? Farewell to the moon. All right. So, even though you pro you still care you still have you've had happy times it, time to say goodbye god there's a lot of breakups in this because you got other things to do you got other places to go you got better things coming your way and it it's just time to say goodbye all right so don't live miserably because you think you have to, because the right thing is to keep trying, okay? Anyway. Is there anyone? Give me a second to find the day. We're going to move on to Libra Scorpio. Libra Scorpio. Hopefully y'all are doing good. Let's see. Oh my gosh. What's going on with Libra Scorpio? Nine of Wands. Chasing that ass. I don't know why that popped out, but it's like, you're just like moving from one thing to another. I feel like you're in a real fling stage here. And I hardly ever say anything like that, so it's, like, weird, but it's, like, you don't want to be, <laughs> you're not ready for that ball and chain, you're just having fun, you, you actually, you're getting, you just got out of a relationship, okay, so that's why, and you're just, like, it's time to have fun, move from one place to another, and no one gonna hold me down, yeah, See, you got that ten of wands. It's like, nah. Like, someone just seriously stressed me out. I put in too much for that to get nothing back. Nah. Nah, I'm gonna get mine. The real vibe on this one. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> You're ashamed of how long it took you to figure it out. Hey. Alright. Cut that shit out. Cut that shit out. Okay? Sometimes... Some people can figure something out in a second. Some people it takes... You know, it just takes them longer to figure something out. And if it took you a little while, I mean... There's a whole bunch of factors that can go in this. They can be deceptive. Maybe, like, it's hot and cold. Maybe... You know, some reason, toxicity just draws people in. And... You, you might have been in a toxic relationship where it's like, oh, it's awful, but then they make up for it. But it's awful, but then they make up for it. But it's awful, but then they make up for it. And then you're like, no, no, no. You're not making up for it anymore. You're not doing it for me. Like, it's done. Boom. Hammer down. <laughs> Judgment. You're tired of fighting. You're like, we shouldn't be fighting this much. There's a lot of passion in here, but it's just like, no, no, too much fighting, too much. There's just too much. I said judgment earlier. It's like, we're not getting anywhere here. And I just, honestly, I just need to go chill somewhere. I can't chill with you. You're, it's always, it's either hot and heavy or we're fighting and at each other's throats. Like, there's no chill zone. And you need to figure out what you actually want. So take time to figure out what you actually want. See, you got these two. Boom. 
take time. Take time for yourself. Look within. It's fine. Take as much time as you need. Figure out what you actually want and don't let anyone hold you down. All right. Next, we're going to Scorpio Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Well, shit. Okay, I was going to give a second to shuffle, but all of them just popped out. Mm -hmm. Okay, Scorpio Sagittarius, y'all just had... I was trying to shuffle for a second, and you just had a whole bunch of cards pop out. Y'all are really trying to talk, because I can't even shuffle the cards. Very vocal. Okay, you got the Queen of Wands, you got the Nine of Wands, and you got the Seven of Cups. You got options, but it's like the thinking about all the options you got is getting in your way of getting to the Queen of Cups energy of you can get what look, you can get whatever you want, so quit worrying about do I want this, do I want this, do I want this? You can have it all, bitch. Okay? You can have it all. So You know what you want. You're just shy of coming out of your shell. But the longer you wait, the more painful it is for some reason. Why is it more painful the longer you wait? Why is it more painful the longer you wait? Well, okay. Because it's irreversible. Like, the things you're doing now can't be undone. Whatever that means. The action, whatever's happening now can't be undone. And it's like you're going to lose your chance if you wait too long. And that's why you keep overthinking it when you could just be getting everything you want. Everything you need. You got that Queen of Wands on there. I'd say go after it. Go after whatever you want. Okay. How are you going to get that Ace of Cups with those worrying about shit? How are you going to get the blessing in your emotions? How are you going to get just that overall amazing happiness? Ace of Cups and Ace of Swords, okay? You're going to figure it out. You're going to figure it out. You're going to figure out what to do just right, and boom. I feel like some of you already know. Just do it. Just do it. You know what you need to do. Or you will. Okay, so we're going to move on to Sagittarius Capricorn. It's an interesting combo. Oh, goodness. Sagittarius Capricorn. carried the too much damage done and you carried the burden too long and now you're like okay look this is what I'm doing don't judge me we're going this direction like back off you're ready to fight now you're ready to fight because it went on too long yeah see you're still upset over the broken cups or the broken pieces uh what could have went, what could have been, you're still upset about it. And you're still upset over someone betraying you, someone doing you wrong. But it's time to move on. It's time to move forward. Actually, I'm kind of feeling like that something else is coming in, so you need to get balanced. Something else is coming in. Something better is coming your way. So you need to get balanced. You see in the white and black in here? You need to get balanced. Yin yang and up in there. Have your fun, but, you know, it's like you're restricting yourself right now for some reason, and the pain and misery, just feel it. Just feel it. Let it go, because you got something good coming in, and I feel like it's not going to be all the way in until you heal. So the faster you heal, the faster this is going to come in. And see, they're patient. <laughs> Whatever's coming in, they are patient. They're willing to wait, so I guess there's not really a hustle on that, but for your sake, if I feel like you're impatient, 
So these people, they're like, okay, I know where you're at. I'll wait. So you got someone good in your corner, interested in you, understanding. They'll wait, but you need to put in the work to heal before they come in. Don't be impatient about that. I feel like some of you know who I'm talking about. Anyway, we're going to go to Capricorn Aquarius. Okay, Capricorn Aquarius. You don't know what to do, so you're kind of just like blindfolding yourself and pretending it's not there, but you're still holding the swords. Obviously, it's there. You still feel it. You're... The weight of the burden is still there. You can't run from your problems. Just got heavy, huh? You can't run from your problems. You need to fix it. Whatever it is you need to heal, you need to fix it. There's just this real, I need to fix it, I need to fix it, but I don't know what to do. You know what to do. You do. You really do. But it's like, is there, some, is there something else? No. No. You know what to do. You know what you need to do. Why? It may be hard, but that's what you need to do. Too many cards at once. Come on. Mm-hmm. You went within, and now it's time to talk about it. Oh, it is time to take action. It is time to have the conversation. It is time to do something. You've already went in. You've thought about what you need to do. You gained the knowledge. You gained the perspective. You have really figured out what it is you want. And now you need to either have that conversation. There's something you need to do. You just need to do something about it. Undo the damage. I don't know why that is. Undo the damage. Until you undo the damage, this will is not going to move. Your will of fortune is not going to move. You're not going to be able to move forward until you undo the damage. And just so you know, this energy could be vice versa. Maybe it's just... Maybe you just need to give a... Um, what am I trying to say? You just need to give uh, give that person peace. Or maybe you need peace. I can't think of the damn word. But pretty much you just need to give them peace of mind about the situation. Mm. God, it's driving me crazy. I can't think of the word. Um, you know, it's like when you get out of a relationship and all you want is to really understand what happened. Um to get that knowing of and understanding of everything, why it went wrong and all that, so you can move on. I cannot, that word is escaping me right now, and I don't know why it's escaping me, but. And a little bit of self-reflection, too. So, I feel like it's easy to blame other people. Uh, the other person for everything that went wrong. You need to realize it takes two to tangle. It also takes two to fall apart. It takes two to stay together. So, you know, it's not just on the other person. It's also on you. And don't make them feel like it's just on them. Okay. You've thought about it. You need to act. That's pretty much all that is. So, Aquarius Pisces. Oop, I bent the card. Aquarius Pisces. Let's see, what is... You're being deceptive or you're being deceived. See, two people are staring at the moon, two dogs staring at the moon while this crap's getting away with murder. 
I don't know why I just that popped out. Getting away with murder, but this crab has got a real messed up face too. So it's like either you or the person presenting, whoever's presenting it, is presenting this like peaceful, calm, loving face when they're actually kind of twisted. I feel like this might be presented to you. I'm going to say that just for the sake of argument. If it's you, it's you. Whatever. But. But because that's a crab, I'm like, maybe cancer? I don't know. Um, but the moon is also Pisces. I'm reading for Aquarius Pisces cusp. So. With this card, I'm just getting that sense of, okay, you thought they had your back. You thought, that, but they weren't actually filling your cups up. They were just, like, checking the levels. Um, they weren't putting it. They were, like, checking in on you, but they weren't putting in any effort to keep it going. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, see, that white and that white and red dog is in this moon card too. So it's like whoever is getting whoever's getting fooled is going to find out. The truth is gonna come out one way or another. <laughs> and with that, it's just like, oh well, I thought we had something, but I guess I'm just throwing out those cups, like. Thought we were growing something there, but I guess that's all that is. You gonna turn your back? You gonna turn your back because you realize that as good as you thought it was, it was actually toxic. And you got, ugh, ugh, okay. Cat hair is everywhere in here. My gosh. Gross, but... Um, you got the hangman. So now... You're not going to be fooled anymore is what that is. Any advice? Anything different? Because we're kind of getting the same shit here. We're kind of getting the same shit. Anything else? Don't be afraid to start that new beginning. Because <laughs> you're going to be happy to do at some point. You're going to be happy you did it. You're going to jump through and be like, yes, please. Like, fuck this shit. All right. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Any likes, comments, and subscribes are greatly appreciated. And you guys have a great day.